Hey, welcome back to Gears. If you're just getting here, man, you have missed a lot because we've been flexing the muscles on Sergeant Rock and walking very quickly through the thousands of hours it took to build this thing. Now, one thing we haven't covered is the reaction we get when we take this thing out. Take a look. On the street and especially at a gas station, there's probably an easier way to do this, but I haven't figured it out yet. The truck definitely causes a commotion yep. as people try to figure out exactly what it is. Oh, yeah. Really, what do you really like about it? The detail. Anything in particular? Uh, that shovel. I mean, there's little touches like that that yeah. really make it. I don't know, Mark. Do you feel like a burger? Why don't we stop in to get a burger? To venture into a fast food drive through is worth it just to see the reaction. <laughs> and the panic in people's eyes. Stop, stop, you're too big, stop, you're gonna wreck it, stop. Stop, you're too big, stop. And if you try to park it somewhere, be prepared to draw a crowd or spark a riot, depending on how tight the parking spaces are. Oh, 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 oh. oh no, no, I can, I can fit. No, really, I can fit. No, trust me, oh, you gonna move? Yeah, hey, you don't have to move. I can fit, really, I can fit. Trust me, I do this all the time. <laughs> but the best reaction was when we took it to the SEMA show in Las Vegas, where it was invited to take its place among the top custom vehicles in the world and be seen by millions of gearheads. But before it could be seen, we had to get it there. And shipping Sergeant Rock is its own kind of adventure. Check it out. Now, ah. quick tip. Brought to you by E3 Spark Plugs. Born to burn. Now, I know there's a lot of you out there that would like to build something using this big a tire, and that's really cool. But if you do, you need to know a couple of things. Number one, don't ever let one fall over, because you'll give yourself a hernia trying to pick one of these things up. Number two, if you're ever going to ship the vehicle in an enclosed trailer, you're going to have to swap the tires to something like that, yeah, not quite as impressive, but still pretty cool. If you'd like to learn more tips to make your life easier in the shop, check out the tips page on the website. Once we got it to Vegas, the truck definitely made an entrance when it rolled in, because squeezing that big, wide beast down a narrow nine-foot aisle definitely caused some tense moments for some car owners. And seeing the overwhelming response to the truck was a fitting end to a great project. Now, if you watch Gears very much, you know that we usually do a custom guitar to go with any of the big projects. And Sergeant Rock is a natural for that. For this one, we hooked up with the Tennessee Electric Guitar Company in Nashville because they specialize in high-end, hand-built guitars for the serious player. And we came up with a Sergeant Rock guitar that's loaded with some of the best parts out there. The neck is hard rock maple with an ebony fingerboard. The body and headstock are unique to Tennessee Electric. The paint, the pinup girl, the brushed aluminum, the rivets all match the details on the truck. And the pickups are three Seymour Duncan mini humbuckers that'll give you virtually any sound you can imagine from humbucker sustain to single coil bite. Tennessee Electric Company will be doing a limited run of these Sergeant Rock guitars, so if you want one, you can have one. Just not number one, that's, well, that's mine. <laughs> Now, one last thing. I know there's a lot of people out there that get discouraged when a project takes longer than they think it should. But you gotta remember, most ground up builds on average are gonna take two to five years, even if you're a pro, because a lot of times we're building more than one vehicle at the same time. So don't be so hard on yourself. If you keep moving forward, don't listen to the naysayers and keep it organized, you will eventually finish your project and it is so worth it. Because as cool as it is to design and build your own vehicle, there's nothing quite like getting in it, turning the key, and driving it. That will turn you into a five-year-old kid again.